Come support the Sin City Scissors by buying some merch to kick off the WBE Season 3. Links in the description down below. What's Brown Guys boy, Patty Trills, a.k.a. Young Johnny Bravo, a.k.a. the coach of your Sin City Scissors in the WBE Week 3 Team Builder match. So, we're going against Old Man Tup, a.k.a. known as the um, Pittsburgh Parentitas. Um, he is, I mean, it's top. This man's been around for, like, ever, you know. <laughs> Everyone knows who Tup is. Um... So, he's my week three opponent. He's currently 0-2, but that doesn't really mean anything because Tup has a very solid team and he had hard matches. So, we're not going to walk into this thinking it's easy breeze. Because um, currently, we are 1-1. Should be 2-0, but, you know, you man <coughs> pulled a 2011 LeBron. So, his team here, as you can tell, is Tyranitar, Gliscor, Klefki, Rotom Wash, Roserade, Hariyama, Miss Magius, Doug, Trio, Alolan, Dougie, and then um, Megazord X. So... In my in my most honest opinion, getting a phone call. Hello. Cool. Anyways, all right. <laughs> so um, goddamn so yeah. Come y'all get solicitors like crazy now, like recently. I'm just I don't know. Anyways, so in my most humble opinion. The six that he's probably going to bring are T-Tar, Gliscor, um, Zardex, Rotom Wash, uh, Klefki, Miss Magius. I think that's the six. Uh, no, it would probably be T-Tar, Gliscor, Rotom Wash, Roserade, uh, Zardex, and like Miss Magius or Klefki. Th those are like, I don't see him bring Hariyama to his matchup. I don't really see him bring Masharna to his matchup. Maybe to try to stop Megazam. Because Masharna is fat. It's like the only thing I can really think of. But like, he's got a solid team. So, we're going to switch over to what I brought. And what I think is the best chance uh, to win. Is we got Lanny Phantom. A.K.A. our Lanterous T. Uh, with Earthquake, Stone Edge, Rock Polish, and Fly. Pretty much like our same as our week one set. We can Rock Polish and then we outpace literally everything. Um, Even like Agility. Uh... Well, we won't we won't outpace agility uh, Gliscor because he's naturally fast on us. But if he is outspeeding us, and he's solely doing it to outpace Lanterus, which that means speedy, uh, speedy Gliscor is a lot more easy to handle than defensive Gliscor because that boy just takes hits for days. But anyways, so yeah, so we got Earthquake Stone Edge Rock Polish and Fly because nothing on his team comfortably takes uh, Edgequake, so. Like, nothing takes Edgequake Landorus on his team, realistically. Like, Tyranitar EQ is not going to enjoy that. Uh, Stone Edge on Gliscor is not going to enjoy that. Also, we have Z Fly for the Gliscor. Uh, Klefki won't take EQ. Rotom Wash doesn't really like Stone Edge too much. Roserade is not going to take EQ. Hariyama is not going to take Fly. Like, there's not a lot on this team that could really take an Edgequake Lando. Especially with plus two speed, because that means I'll have speed. You know, uh, make a Zard at plus one. Uh, I'll outspeed Scarf Miss Magius. I'll outspeed Scarf Rose Rakes. That's possible. Um, I can, you know, comfortably outspeed a plus two T-Tar on D-Dance or whatever. Depending if, like, whatever set he's running. I, I believe he's going to be Choppo Berry um, T-Tar. Solely just so he could take Primeape and possibly um, Focus Blast uh, Alakazam. So, like, if I don't see any items, like, right off the bat, uh, I'm going to kind of... I'm going to see how that works. Um, the most annoying mod on his team is most likely going to be Gliscor. And probably Zardex if it's like healthy when it may evolves. Because if it comes in on rocks, I'm not really too worried about it. But um, So yeah, we got Landorus T here. You're here to just be you know, that super hyper offensive like always. And then we got Sod, uh, The Seismic Toad with Stealth Rock, Ice Punch, Earthquake, and Toxic. Stealth Rock to get the rocks because obviously chip damage on everything is great. Gliscor would like some chip damage. Charizard before it Mega Evolves would not like it, but you know, uh, even once it's Mega Evolved, 25% still 25%. Um, it helps with rolls with a lot of things. It's help. It's good for chip on everything. Um, Ice Punch, so I can 1v1 Glide Score. Especially if he's defensive Glide Score, then I could definitely 1v1 this match because I have lefties. And uh, Ice Punch beats anything that he has on top of that. Also, I'm Water Absorb, so that helps with Rotom Wash Switch Ins as well. Because if he wants to drop like a pump on us, or if he's trying to, like, if, if he's going to like pump the. Landorus or the Incineroar or something. I could go straight into Seismic Toad, absorb it, you know, get some momentum off of him. And then, uh, 
Yeah, I'm invested to eat, uh, I believe, a plus one D claw from Zardex. And then I have attack investments to, I'm pretty sure it's to Tuco Gliscor and also to Tuco Zardex. Or it might, it might straight up Oko Zardex, to be completely honest. Um, let me run calcs on that. I should be. I, I I know I, I I built this last night so I, I don't have like it all in my in my head, you know. Like if if I was like if I just got done building this and then I recorded like this you know team builder then I would be able to tell you like right off the bat. But let me um let me do a seismic toad. Uh, let's say uh you know let's make it level fifty. Um, it's gonna have thirty six and it's adamant. And then I give him Earthquake, right? To uh, make a Charizard X. Let's just say it's Dragon Dance. Um, yeah, no, actually, Earthquake, uh, if he has no health investments, it it's Earthquake will guarantee a kill. Um, yeah, Earthquake guarantees a kill. It's 98.6 to 116.9. If he comes in on rocks, guaranteed to die. Um... Oh, no, that's life or follow what's going on here. Let's change that. Okay. No, it actually doesn't guarantee to kill. Uh, it does 75 to 90. So if he comes in on rocks, then he guarantees a die. So which I was going to get rocks up early. And then for him, even if he has dragon claw, uh, uh, plus one dragon claws, a chance to kill, but a plus one EQ and flare blitz does not kill me with, uh, oh no. I'm I'm high. I am insanely high right now. I mean I'm not, but that's just an expression. Yeah, plus one. Uh D claw know that uh it's it's still a two at plus one. So he's kind of my Megazard switching every time. Those are the percentages. So that's my size of the Next one is Insanity or the Incineroar because it's like Linsanity. <laughs> uh Fire Punch, you turn Earthquake and Darkest Lariat because if you go to um Oh, let's get rid of the calcs. If he goes to uh, Fire Punch for the Rosa Raid, Fire Punch for like Oh and Dougie for the Klefki, you know. Um, I also have it speed crab to outspeed um, him creeping me. So uh, I, I I speed crab to outspeed a bulky Titar. Like if it's not offensive Titar, like if it's not speed Titar, um, I outspeed it. It speed crab in the off chance that he would try to out creep me so i went five points of speed into it so i went 44 investment on that and then uh the only way he would outspeed is if he's hyper offensive titar or if he's out creeping me to out creep him of me out creeping if him out creeping me he would have to go like plus six which at that point is not even worth it investment uh then four defense 180 plus an attack adamant and then uh, the rest of HP just takes some hits. So Fire Punch is, like I said, for Clef Beat, Roserite, Alolan, Dougie. Uh, we got Earthquake for literally everything else, like T-Tar, you know, anything. It's it's just, it's, it's fucking T-Tar. And then Darkest Lariat for the Musharna. And then uh, U-Turn for Pivot. And also, this is also kind of like my Mega Zard X check because I resist most things. I have Intimidate. That'll help as well. And also, uh, I'm a salt vest, so if Miss Magius or if Rosary tries to pop off with anything, um, he will be my switch in for both of those. Um, so that's my Rosary Miss Magius switch because he's a salt vest, but also physically, like if Seismato goes down, it's my Zardex check. So the next one we go into is uh, Kabe Blade here. Kabe Blade, uh, the you know mega zam with hp fighting because even at plus one i'm pretty sure i guarantee oko um let me see if i go hidden power fighting right it's angle fighting i'm level 50 uh if he's not choppa berry obviously because let's just say he's you know uh like offensive like like offensive but bulky um yeah at plus one at plus one, I'm 87 to 104. So if he comes in on rocks, uh, it's guaranteed an oak after rocks. This is if he's like 168 in HP and rest in speed and whatnot. So I at plus one, I guarantee to knock out for almost full with rocks. Um, and then, but if he's choppable, obviously, because like I said, choppable's a thing. I could see it. 
um, then obviously he'll eat it better. But that's if he's not choppable. I can handle the T tar at least. Uh, psychic for literally everything else that takes damage. Like his psychic would be for you know Roserade, Hariyama. It stabs, so it affect Gliscor. It would hit Rotom Wash. Uh, even at plus one, it, it pretty much bodies most of those things. And I want to do side shot because Gliscor is a thing, and Gliscor is usually more physically defensive. And then Shadow Ball solely just so I don't get walled by Masharna. I have Shadow Ball literally just so I don't get walled out. And then my speed is 132 because I am out. I'm outpacing a plus one T Tar uh, with Dragon Dance um, because I won't outspeed. Um, I won't outspeed uh, Scarf Miss Magius. I'm not gonna outspeed plus one Zardax regardless if I'm mega. Um, but I would outspeed plus one T Tar. No, maybe plus two. It might be plus two T Tar actually. I forgot how I did the cribs for this. Um, but yeah, it's so to outspeed the plus two T Tar. I'm pretty sure it's plus two. Could be wrong. I'm fairly certain it's maybe just plus one actually. I'm fairly sure it's probably just plus because uh, when I make evolve, I'll be at 186. And then at 186, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it, it's to it's to outspeed um, a plus one max speed T Tar. That's right. Okay, I'm 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 here. It's plus one max speed. That it's it's outspeed one D dance um, to still win the one on one if he has no chopple. Um, and then yeah, special attack uh, max out modest so I can hit harder because at plus one at modest I hit pretty hard. Oh, I should probably run those calcs if it was modest. Cause I think that was timid actually. Yeah, never mind. Uh, HP fighting, if he has, let's just say he's just max HP, um, I still guarantee kill after rocks. Um, if not, if not, um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rolls in my favor to kill with no rocks. So that's a 50 50. That's if he's max HP, obviously. Um, the next thing we have is Gobi, <laughs> the gold bat. Uh, with Toxic Defog, you turn Roos, Roos just to take hits. Uh, he's here to also take like Zardex um, switch-ins because uh, Zardex can be a problem. Like Tough Claws is pretty pretty brutal to, to handle around. So he's here to take that Defog on any rocks that are possibly on the field because he has Gliscor, he has Tyranitar, he has Klefki Spikes, he has uh, like Toxic Spikes, Roserade if he wants to do something like that. Um, and then you turn for Pivot. And then uh, Roost, and then uh, Speed Crep to Speed Tie with Gliscor, but chances are Gliscor is gonna be maybe slightly faster than us. Just so if I Roost, I Roost after him, and uh, he, uh, you know, I don't, I don't get hurt from, you know, I don't take damage from, uh, I don't take damage from the uh, EQ after Roosting. Uh, actually, chances are I'd probably, I'm probably i probably going to drop this one, so I guarantee to never speed tie with him, and then I'll just throw the um, the four into Spadaf, and then... And then four in attack for yeah, whatever. Um, so I guarantee that I guarantee to be outsped by the Glide score, so um, when I roost, I don't have to worry about the EQs. Uh, to like I said, toxic for everything, defog to get rid of things, you turn, okay, alright. And then we have Nigel here, who is Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs, that's for probably Tyranitar, my Tyranitar switch in as well. Uh, could be Zardex if I want to, like, really just nuke it, like, if he's, if he's gonna, if I think he's gonna Flare Blitz, and then I send this in, it'll do, I'll die, but I'll, he'll take, like, almost 50% recoil from everything, and if he comes in on rocks, he's definitely not gonna be able to swing again, because he'll probably be outsped. Depending if he D-dances or not. But this is going to be my T-Tar switch in. Um, I have it so I could live a close combat from Hariyama. I have it from it if he brings her. I really don't think he'll bring Hariyama. But if he does, I prepped for it. And then also for... I have it calced for his... Yeah, for like... T-Tar, he three co's with this spread. Um, Gliscar, he, you know, he'll three co. Uh... Alolan Dougie E killing three codes, and then obviously Zardex is just gonna nuke me regardless. But I'm Iron Barbs, and then I'm Leaf Seed Stealth Rock Power Web Protect because I don't see anything in taunting me. I think Miss Magius possibly gets taunt, but I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, power up to hit Tyranitar back, power up to hit Gliscor back, power up to hit Ronan Wash back, 
you know, obviously, I, the only thing I can't leech CD is Roserade, but if Roserade's out, then I'm just going to go into my uh, Incineroar because it's Assault Vez and I resist, I resist its stab. But yeah, this is my week three match for uh, Old Man Tup. This is what I believe will have the best chance to win this. Uh, if you guys are excited, show your support. Smash like button. Support is greatly appreciated. Definitely check the link in the description down below. Twitter, Twitter merchandise. And if you want to buy some Sin City merch, like I said, the announcement in the beginning, it's linked in the description down below. You can buy some, support the boy. Or you can buy some of this merch. Let's go get this bread. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Battle will be up tomorrow. You guys are the best. I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Guys, I'm going to I'm out. Oh, yoga.